Today I'm going to create a quick demo to show how the allocation schedules feature can be used within NetSuite. Uh, usually companies will like to allocate out based on a certain department, usually engineering or facilities, um, I'm sorry, IT and facilities. Um, in this case, this, this uh, demo account has engineering instead of either one of those. So we're just gonna use this as our example, engineering. Uh, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the, the home screen and you're gonna go to transactions, uh, administrator. So you go transactions, financial, and then create allocation schedules. When this comes up, we're gonna uh, name this. This is our engineering. Uh, and then here you can choose uh, what frequency you want to run it. So you can choose end of the period, start of the period. Um, usually customers like to set it for themselves, so they usually like to run it as a batch. <clears throat> and then you can have a reminder. You can say when the next date is, if you're running it on an actual date. But running by batch is, is a pretty safe one. Um, I'm going to just check the chart of accounts here. And... See where we can put this. Let's just create a, a quick account for this. So this is going to be just a, just a nine thousand rotations. Actually, it's like a. 801, we'll make it an allocation. This will be an expense type. Everything else looks good. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So now we have our allocations account. So I'm going to go to the allocation schedule. The credit account that we want to do is going to be 8001 allocations, which we just created. And then since this is coming out of uh, engineering, usually the, the customers like to say, put the credit on the engineering department. Uh, and then we don't have to put any locations in there. Uh, the next step that we have to do is we have to set the uh, accounting section. So we're gonna choose which accounts are actually going to drive this. So we're gonna go through here and we're gonna say, okay, we wanna pull out uh, like amortization expense. We're gonna pull out our advertising. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're setting the department to be engineering. And then usually they just say pull it out of anywhere. Uh, sometimes they like to do this on a location by location basis. So you can set which location it is. Uh, this is any of your, this is basically all of your options here. Um, usually they like, they like to say, we want to run for this department, pull it from any location. We're going to set it out to every location. So we're going to pull a few more accounts. As you can see, there's quite a lot that has to go into uh, building these out. It just takes time because you have to make sure you're pulling each account that you want to pull out. Uh, so I'm just gonna limit it at the, the 6,000 range. So 6060. So we're good here. I'm gonna cancel this last one. We don't need it. Um, and then the next thing that we have to do once we've said, okay, this is just for our 6,000 range. Now we just choose um, 
at which point we want or where we want to set the destination to. Um, they can actually use a head count if they have the statistical accounts active in their in their file. Um, in this case, we don't have it active. So we're just going to set these manually. Uh, so we're going to say this one has to go to 801 allocations. And we can say we want to auto populate this all out for all three of those. Um, and then this will be 100. And we can just say, okay, this is percentages. Um, actually, let, let me just not auto populate these. So we're going to say administration is going to be one, and then 801, and then we're going to choose the next department. So we can say customer support, auto populate for these two, engineering, we don't want to go back into. since this one is kind of a broken down individually, I'm just going to set one for each of them. One, last one, support, auto populate the location in the class. And then what we can do is we can click this even spread. It'll break it out among these eight departments evenly. So that's what already does that. If we're actually going to be using um, like a head count, that will option will come up in the destination to say how do you want to separate it out which account do you want to use some of our other cust customers have done this so this is an easy way to set up the allocation schedules now once we have this we want to save it and so now we have this allocation schedule created and since we chose to run it by a batch now we have to create an allocation batch so we have to go transactions financial and then create allocation batches. And then this is also going to be an engineering. I call it engineering batch. And when we look through the allocation schedules, we see our one engineering schedule. We can add it. Um, one thing that we do have to do is we have to set the posting date. So we'll set this for 1031. Seventeen, and then we can save it. And then there's this execute button. And once you click this execute button, it's going to create your batch based off of that, uh, based off of this posting date. And that posting date will drive um, how what what the uh, what the amounts are going to be. So yeah, so that's that's how it's done. Sorry, I clicked through there a little quickly, but when you're on this allocation batch, you can actually click this link here for the allocation schedule, and it'll bring you directly to that schedule that, that is for this batch. Um, and another good thing about having a batch is that you can set multiple allocation schedules to run at, a, at just one time by setting them in order. So if you wanted, you know, part A, then to go to part B, then to go to part C, uh, you can set all three of those allocation schedules up and then set them in that order on the allocation batch, and then you can run it all at one time. It makes it a little bit easier, especially if you're just doing it based off of location. You're saying, okay, this location is isolated of uh, every other location. Um, so then you can just say, okay, here's all of my locations in one, in one batch. I want to run all of these at once. Um, with one click, you'd be able to do that. Now, anytime that the customer has to go back, they're going to go transactions, financial, and instead of clicking on the create button, uh, they would just scroll over to list. So both the, the schedules and the batches have a list. And when they're here, then they would uh, click to edit, and then they would update the posting date for their, whatever the current month is, save it, and then they'll see the execute button again. And this one says it hasn't changed, of course, so here it is, we click execute and it'll run. I don't think there's any information here. So if I execute it now, it's going to, um, it's going to error out. 
but that's the that's the basis behind the allocation schedule.